Ace of Six, but I'm the only artist. I first started out in college. I didn't ha really have any intention of being an artist. And after the, taking the drawing class, I realized, wow, this is, this is great. So I switched my major to major in fine arts, and I minored in graphic design. From childhood, I never considered being anything else but an artist. I call myself a contemporary realist. A friend pointed out Santa Barbara to me. He said, this is where you want to be. It's close to LA, and uh, it's beautiful. A lot of art dealers from LA are discovering Santa Barbara. I like Santa Barbara, but it's close enough to go to LA and sell my works. So I wanted to live in a community where there's other artists, so other artists would come in to talk about the work, I go to their studio. So it really helps the artist to grow. The environment is so um, hospitable to artists. You can have your doors and windows open all day long. The light is wonderful. Uh, the temperature is nice, so you're not all constrained and bundled by uh, the weather. Santa Barbara has the uh, fifth largest population of artists, people who declare themselves artists professionally in the country, which is pretty impressive. It's hard to get into galleries because galleries um, have a stable of artists and if they're not, if they can't sell their work, they're not gonna take on any new artists. So artists are trying to find a way to generate sales and to get exposure. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of galleries here. And that's why Studio Artists was founded. I was on the original board uh, that started the organization, and we started it to put Santa Barbara on the map as an art destination. We started the tour to attract people in, to, to look at our work, to dialogue with the artists and potentially maybe sell some pieces. The studio tours, which is once a year, the two-day Santa Barbara Studio Artist Tours. When people come, they usually, we have a reception in the gallery. Each artist has one piece in the gallery, so they buy their ticket and they can look at their work and figure out their route and which artist they would like to see. This way, you have, you can get one-on-one -on -one with an artist and talk, ask questions, see where they create, it's just a great opportunity.